looks like brand no, new again. No, it for sure gives um, a better appeal to it. Um, yeah. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another banger video. As yeah. usual, I'm James with Top Class Detail. If it's your first time tuning in, I'm a 21-year-old business owner of a mobile detailing business based here in LA and Orange County. So if anybody needs a detail service, please feel free to contact us via Instagram or our phone number, which is right here on the van, and we can definitely get you guys set up. But in today's video, we have another day in the life slash two details for you guys to check out. The first one was a 2021 Tahoe, which was a first time client. And then the second one was a Mercedes where we did our exterior protection special. So you guys have been hearing about that in the last couple of videos. It's been doing very, very well for me. I might extend it into this month of April, but who's to tell you still with time to come. But anyways, don't wanna hold you guys too long. Let's get straight into the content and get into yet another banger video. And I'll see you guys in the video. The condition of the car isn't too bad. It's definitely dirty, has a lot of like little sand and little dirt kind of floating around, but that's why you always carry a tornador. So a lot of you guys see this tool in every one of my videos. You always see me use it, always see me pull it out. You're probably wondering what the hell is that if you don't know what it is. And it's a tornador. It is a air blowout tool that spins like a tornado basically. And what it does is it helps push, loosen and almost remove dirt and debris from carpets, from anything it is that you really need it to do its job. This is something that you really need to carry with you all the time. If you don't and you haven't tried one yet, I promise you the moment you pick one up, you're gonna love it. But keep in mind, you have to pair it with the right air compressor because if you use the wrong one, it's not gonna deliver the results that you're probably looking for or the results that I get. So right now we're at our first appointment of the morning, um, running a little bit. I wouldn't say honestly late, I just had a little bit of issues in the morning, but we're honestly fairly good for timing. Uh, we're working on this first time client. This is a 2021 Tahoe, I believe. So we're working on this. This is just a standard uh, inside and out service, nothing too crazy. And then from here, we're gonna make our way down the street to Torrance from Hawthorne. We're gonna do a exterior protection special. That's going to be on a Mercedes Benz as well as she mentioned that she has a small scratch on the trunk that she wants me to try to remove. So I told her I'll most likely try to do my best to take care of that. And then it's possible we may go do a final car, which is a TRX and uh, get my man Muhammad all taken care of. He has a couple different cars. He has a Cullinan, a G-Wagon and a TRX. So we're going to see if we can go take care of that as well and just adding an extra car because, you know, it's the first of the month, so the bills are hitting right now. Take what you can get, much needed. To just scan the qr code with your camera it'll take you directly to the website or my instagram and you can see everything uh right there as well okay thank you man. is there any questions my name is james i'm the owner we're fully licensed fully insured so you can feel free to get in contact with me at any time of the day and i'll be more than willing to help you out okay thank you, thank you. well before i came here i watched a youtube video on how to how to wash a car so i kind of watched that video i got a general idea for what i'm supposed to do but honestly, I kind of forgot all the steps. So right now I'm kind of just winging it, like going off from, you know, what I can remember from the video. But I think from here, I'm supposed to just take my, uh, my vacuum cleaner. I think I gotta blow it with that. And then from there, I think grab my wheel towels and dry the vehicle. I'm not 100% sure, it's, my, it's, my, it's only my third day out here. your full outside wash wheels tires inner barrels and your carpet liners all got taken care of 
your trunk jams, also vacuumed out your sub and things of that. Some of the stuff that was on top, I kind of just left it. Okay. That's more of your personal things. I didn't want to get too much into yeah. it. Your total is just 115. 115? Yes, sir. So it's uh, 85 for smaller cars and then around 100. I, I charged you a bit less because it wasn't too, too bad. Okay. Um, and then it was really just to cover everything else. Like I had. But I do want to, um, I later, not too far from now, but I do want to do like the buffering. Polish, polish on it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, because like all these little scratches and stuff. Right. See if that kind of goes away. But. No, for sure. I mean, the sooner you do it, the better because it is yeah. black GM paint. It's a lot harder to work with, yeah. but also your scratches aren't too deep. Okay. Like compared to what they could be, especially for the vehicle be, you know, two years old, yeah. it's not it's not as bad as what I've seen before. I've oh. seen cars come out and they're completely worse. Um, but yeah, if that's something you decide you want to do, I can send you over a, a quote okay. and then that will be kind of in writing. So this way, if in, when you are ready, you have the price and have a general idea. Okay. What I would suggest is if you're willing to, if it's like within your, your means of spending, is to ceramic coat it. Yeah. Um, that will help not fully 100% bulletproof it, but it'll help resist the scratching just a little bit. Okay. So this way with any washes, whether you do it yourself or of course I maintain it, it'll help to kind of keep the scratches from coming back as fast. But like I said, it doesn't guarantee you'll never get them. Okay. But yeah, so something like that, rough estimate. Um, my neighbor just picked up a 2023, a brand new Tahoe. Um, his, he's looking at a starting price of like 11, 1200. Okay. Uh, that's going to include the full one step polish and the full coating. That by itself will take at least two days because it's a very big yeah. vehicle, but also too being kind of like a perfectionist, you get caught up in trying to remove every single thing, but I can definitely send you over some prices and let you know about that. Um, and we could definitely get the full outside coated and protected. All right, so we just made it from our first appointment now to the second one of the day. This one's gonna be a, a deeper detail, so an exterior protection and interior special. So I imagine we'll be here for roughly about two hours or so. Um, this is a Mercedes-Benz Black. I don't know the exact make, I'm sorry. I don't wanna butcher it. But this one will be a full inside and out. We're gonna start with the inside first, work our way to the outside, and then from there, tie everything together with, of course, our tire shine, little dressings, things like that. And then have the client come out, inspect the vehicle, and then, of course, collect our payday. So right now we just finished up just about all the vacuum work. So I added some stripe into the carpet just to give it that little extra touch. Um, this Mercedes carpet is always a pleasure to work with. So it's always easier to stripe a higher end carpet than it is like the cheap carpets. Um, those of you guys who do this type of stuff, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So we went a little bit extra. We not only did the floor, but we did the back of the seats and the side of the trunk as well, just to really kind of tie everything in. And right now we're about to continue the stripes all the way to the front of the car. No, I'm just kidding. But that kind of gives you guys a glimpse. The floor mats got done up, so those look amazing. The trunk looks amazing. Now we're gonna close this up, work on the outside, and then do the last touches like windows and things like that, door jams, after the exterior wash. Yeah, so like, don't forget to stripe the outside too. You gotta stripe the paint. Well, uh, how did you feel about the wash? Um, I felt like the inside went really smooth. It wasn't in a terrible condition when I first got here, so that helped a lot. And like I said, that steamer really just allows you to move through everything a lot faster and a lot smoother than you would sitting there with a detail brush and an interior cleaner all day long, as well as you have to deal with the excess, um, like the excess soap in the cracks and everything like that. So that's why you guys also see my tornador is still out. I was using this to help not only blow out the carpets, but also blow out any loose water. 
because like I said earlier, you don't want to oversaturate these buttons or any of the electronics. So this tornador helps not only to blow off dirt, but to blow out all the remaining water that might be left behind that could potentially cause damage. And like I said, it's, it's not that it is going to do it 100%, but you definitely want to be mindful and play it safe rather than be, uh, you know, be safe rather than sorry. It minimized it though. Yeah. The scratch didn't, oh, it did come out, but of course, you know, some of these are too deep, but you could see this one right here at least was able to come out and and it's for sure definitely not as noticeable as what it was. Perfect. Hello. Oh, wow. That looks really good, actually. That's nice. Now we don't even need to take it. It looks like brand no, new again. No, it for sure gives um, a better appeal to it. Um, yeah. Obviously, whatever is there that's too deep into the actual paint will stay. Yeah. But at least we were able to remove the transfer of the paint from the other vehicle and help kind of... Re anymore. Right, exactly. Yeah. Just like steam clean and everything. So steam clean scrubbed everything down. Unfortunately, whatever that stain is on the back of the seat, that little drip did not come yeah. off. No, um, okay. So got there. yeah, there's a couple little things. There's really only like two or three that happened to stay on the actual um, leather. Yeah. And not just because. Let's just say, like I know you said you haven't washed it in a few months. Whatever it was that stayed on there, unfortunately, yeah, it like etched itself into the into the clear coat of the leather. No worries. Did we uh did we live up to Michael's recommendation? <laughs> oh yes. You know him personally? I don't know him personally, but I do uh, YouTube. Hence the, the cameraman with me. Yeah. Um, and he's he ended up doing videos with Reyes, which is the same person that I did my videos with from the jump. So on my way over here, actually, when he came out, I was on the phone with him, and I was just telling him like. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah, I was just telling him like, hey, like, thank you for the recommendation yeah. because you know little things like that. I know as a detailer, you don't have to go out of your way to, you know, recommend them to somebody else. But just the fact that he was able to one consider me and be willing to share that, it was yeah. it was really cool. Yeah, and I but trust I'm, my cousin. Oh my god, like he's far away. I mean, yeah, that's what he was telling me. He's like, yeah, I'm just too far. I can't I can't go out there and take care of it. Yeah. But I mean, it's completely understandable. If it was the other way around, I would recommend somebody to him rather than driving I'll all the way. In his area. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's that's exactly what he told me. He goes, yeah. you you know who to call now. So I was like, yeah, no, 100 yeah. percent. And then we were just talking to him for maybe like 15, 20 minutes, just like little advice on the YouTube videos or certain things, because he didn't think that YouTube would bring like a type of clientele. But I've told him like, I don't, I haven't paid for ads in my business in over a year. I don't do Google. I don't do Yelp. I don't do SEO. 90 point. Yeah. 99% of my business comes directly from YouTube. <laughs> no, it's like I understand that. It's like uh, when when I clean my car and me and her drive it, it's like a whole new vehicle, huh? It just yeah. complete. And then when it's a mess, it's we're so like, good. You're like oh, this yeah, is nice. <laughs> no, for sure. But yeah, every so no sticky drinks in my car, Steven. Your nasty ass 7-Eleven slushy. <laughs> he said I'm gonna have to pay for the clean next time, anyways. <laughs> Before once you book me in, he's gonna go and just dirty it all up again, huh? <laughs>
All right, so there you guys have it. Another satisfied client. Both of them were completely happy with the outcome of their vehicle. They said it looks like brand new, which is always the goal to have the vehicle look better than how it was when it came in. But huge shout out to Reynoso's Auto Detailing. He was able to recommend me this client that we just worked with. He's based out in Temecula. So anyone that's looking for a detail in that general area, please feel free to hit up Reynoso. He'd be more than willing to take care of you guys. Very experienced in what it is that he does. Very knowledgeable. And he'll be more than willing to handle any appointment you guys bring his way. But just want to take a quick minute to say thank you because I truly appreciate him for reaching out and recommending her to me. So this way I can help get some extra business as well as help take care of a client that he was not able to take care of. So as I mentioned, show some love to him. Go tell him Top Class sent you. And I appreciate it very much, Reynoso. Hope you have a blessed day. Where are we at right now? Starbucks. Trying to get a victory drink. After the hey, I'm filming. Nah, but yeah, we're here at Starbucks. If you guys haven't, make sure you get a cookies and cream cake pop. It's the best thing in the world. It's like better than life itself. But Miss Top Class got herself a pink drink. I got a strawberry acai and Mr. Mr. Meet the Robinsons over here. <laughs> Got him, got himself an iced white mocha. Need some sugar, I feel like, I mean, I don't need it, cause I could- Like Paul Blart, my blood sugar is low. <laughs> yeah. We need to do me and suffer anything. So that question, I know you're kind of tired, but what do you do to grow mentally, like, and physically, other than detailing? I mean, honestly, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and cap and say I do this and do that. I try to read books, but I, I start it and then I get sidetracked and then I end up never finishing it. But I like listening to like Eric Thomas shit, like Eric Thomas things or even like Andy Frisella. Um, I don't listen to it. I just mostly listen to it like when I'm by myself, like if I'm working, I'll listen to it. Or if I'm really lazy and I don't want to go work while I'm in the van. I'll put it on and I feel like it kind of just fires you up to want to just go and do something you don't want to do. But I've always heard people say like the way to grow and to, excuse me, eventually accomplish the things you want in life is to do the things that you don't want to do. That's what will eventually make you stronger and help you achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. So it's like they say, the hardest part of working out is going to the gym, but once you're there, it's a lot easier to do what you have to do because you already took the first step in showing up. So I feel like that's kind of the way you gotta look at things in life. Whatever you don't wanna do, that's the perfect test, go do it. So like right now, for example, we had the opportunity to go do another car, even though we're really burnt out. And to be honest with you, if I had all the stuff to do it, like water and the time, I would definitely go and do it. But I feel like sometimes those cars that come last minute or are a far way to go, those are the ones that test you as a person and test your business because those are the ones that ultimately you never know how it could go. You like One time I went for a $100 wash and it turned into a $300 detail. So it's things like that where you got to take advantage of it, do the things you don't want to do and just find out how it turns out because you never know, it might work in your favor. I feel like that's the best way I could put it. All right, what's going on everybody? That's gonna conclude today's video. So this is another day in the life. Today we only knocked out two vehicles. Unfortunately, they took a lot longer than we expected, but nonetheless, the most important part is we were able to get the job done, get it done right, and give the client exactly what it is that they're asking for. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. As you guys can see, we're trying to push out this content as much as we can. I know you guys love it as much as I enjoy making it for you. So with that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. A good amount of you, about 80%, are not subscribed to the YouTube channel. So please help us out. Drop a like, drop a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Help us reach 100,000 by the end of the year. But with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope you'll have a blessed and wonderful day as usual. I'm James with Top Class Detail, and I'll see you next time.